What makes a good game idea? This is probably the biggest question that I've been pondering the last couple months. So, eight months ago I released my last devlog, and after this I realised I didn't actually like the game. And if you've seen the video, or if you haven't seen the video, a basic overview is that it was a sci-fi multiplayer game where the main character actually resembled Buzz Lightyear a lot. <clears throat> but it had a map with a push to payload game mode and a variety of weapons which could be bought from a robot for some reason and I even started adding other things like force fields. In some ways it's like I stopped believing in the game. Uh, I had no idea where to take the game from here and that was the problem, the idea, the game idea. The game idea was so generic, the only thing I could define the game as was sci-fi. It had no unique game mechanics. For me, it's hard for me to work on something if I can't see potential in it. It's like my mum asking me to cook some vegetarian food. I just, I just won't do it. So next, I spent a while trying to think of new ideas, what I could add or take from the game that would make it feel more unique and complete. But I had nothing, literally nothing. So searching for inspiration, I started going through Pinterest and I started to notice how many unique, amazing characters there are that people have created. And I was kind of annoyed at my brain, like why can I think of these ideas? Like granted, mine had to be multiplayer and a lot of these would be best in a story mode game. But then it hit me, what if I created an ability driven game similar to Overwatch or Team Fortress, but I'd be collaborating with different artists to use their creations and designs. So I got started with a new goal in mind to create a very rough playable game that shows off ability driven characters. So I started with a character of my own. I created a boxer with superpowers pretty much. So I created him in Blender, gave him some animations, coded him up in Unity, and then I gave him an ultimate which is pretty much a charged up Superman punch. And after implementing this, I started to think about what the main game mode would be. And I didn't want it to be another generic game mode that's been done a million times like Deathmatch or Capture the Flag. Alright, so listen, personally I think I'm owning this statement, I think some of the best entertainment is based around Bank Heist, and Money Heist being one of the biggest shows of all time. So I decided on a Bank Heist, obviously it has been done before and these games are great in their own ways, but I think the game mode almost deserves more recognition. And after doing some more thinking I came to two conclusions, why not centre my game around this idea, and two, maybe the previous scope was a little large. So yes, my game idea changed again. Maps. Now I think a map can really influence any game, but especially a multiplayer game. You've got to think how much cover is provided in that map, and then the size of the map to how many players are on that map. Everything really matters. Now the first thing I knew when it came to planning the map was it had to be a bank. So I decided to plan it out this time, because last time it was just random ideas that formed a map, it had no real structure or theme that followed through. And I really want to immerse the player into feeling like you're playing in a real bank heist this time. Well, in a toony, gamer way. But then it dawned on me, why create something new? Why not create something that already exists? So after some research, I decided on the Bank of England. And again, I went off to work. I started by creating the roads from the map in Blender and then moved on to the bank and then the surrounding buildings. And trust me, this took a long time. Like, a long time. Next, I needed to remodel the characters and I needed something similar to CSGO where you had counter terrorists and terrorist teams, but instead it would be like robbers versus a SWAT team. The characters I created are more stubby than my previous designs, but I'm happy with the cartoony results. And yes, if you somehow noticed, I'm still using the animations from a year ago because if it ain't broke, why fix it? Plus, I like how funky they look with these characters. One huge idea that made this project scope so much larger was destruction. Mostly everything on the bank is now destructible. And yes, after implementing this, I did realise how potentially hard this could be to network. 
but if any part of the bank is destructible, this means there's infinite angles and strategies to enter or exit the bank. Now a quick overview on the networking side, I switched from using my brother's networking solution that he built on top of Steam and now I'm using the new Unity's networking solution. Honestly it is a game changer, the documentation is really well done and there's some great tutorials out on it already. Plus you can easily change your transport layer from Unity to Steam. So after a matter of trial and error for a couple of days or weeks and cleaning up my code, I was able to get most of the mechanics synced over the network. I had player movement, animations, gun shooting, damage, grenades, ragdolls, respawning. And after this, I set up a quick relay server and I was even able to play with my brother. So I'm happy I've ended with this idea. I'm sure the game will continue to evolve and change as I add and remove from the game. So for most people, I don't think good games are just thought of. You look at games like Fortnite, it's definitely not the game it was intended to be, but it's still wildly successful. I think if you can start with a great game idea, that's amazing, but I think for a lot, you start with an alright idea and you hope it evolves into something great. For my next video, it'll be definitely more of a project breakdown. Let me know if you liked this slightly different style of video in the comments. Thanks for watching.